G'day and welcome back for more Space Engineers Multiplayer Survival. This one is a little less likely to survive, though I feel like Capac and I have been working reasonably well so far, much better than we usually do at least. We've had mostly great success. Apart from the bit where you flew into a rock and bounced and flew miles away. And where you almost got my truck blown up with a missile. Yeah, the key word there, almost. I didn't though, did I? My truck is allergic to missiles. It's going to come out in hives when the missiles hit it? Yes. Okay. I can't see any enemy markers. About, this is good. About 15 degrees uh, um, counter clockwise. I've got an unknown signal three kilometers away. You mean right up? Where Over at those rocky mountains. Is that a... Those the Rocky Mountains that have the enemy base on it? Oh no, it's those ones up there. Oh, I think that's where we just came from when we were fighting those dudes. Yeah, I think it is too. Typical. Do you want to go after it and see, or should we go and see if we can find ourselves an ice lake to get some hydrogen? Ah, uh, ice lake, eh? Yeah. I haven't seen any. I saw something that might have been one down the valley. Um, what the? What? Capac, you didn't park your truck! What? I didn't not park it. <laughs> it's unlocked! Can you go out there and lock it? It's just crashed into the <laughs> back of the thing as soon as I started driving I just off. got in it. I didn't even press anything. <laughs> you unlocked it from the connector. No, I didn't. I didn't. I got in the cockpit and pressed no buttons. Mm. Oh, look at me. It's all mangled at the front. Oh, you fix it while we're going. I'm so glad that's all that happened. I I originally felt like that bumper was totally unnecessary. I don't feel that way anymore. You might want to actually replace it. Oh, you're grabbing I'm stuff. I'm trying. Whoa, got air. Whoops. Ah, you're <laughs> was, making it very difficult to make quite repairs. A lot of air. Uh, so, my thinking is that we do need to find an ice lake. Because... Getting a source of hydrogen would be very useful. We've gotten everything else. Also, my drink is warm. Once we find some ice, we should then start getting work, getting to work on a trailer. And I was originally thinking we should extend this truck, but maybe it'd look kind of fun if we made every trailer about this same length and had a whole big train of them. What do you reckon? Yeah. I mean, maybe the trailer could be a little longer, but yeah. around the same size. What that means we'll need to do is actually flip the connector around on your vehicle lift. Because in its current orientation, you'd then have to drive out underneath a trailer. Which may not be the best way to <laughs> attempt to get out from the vehicle. Might be better to drive off the front. I still can't see any ice. I feel like we're gaining altitude, which slightly worries me because we're going to have to go downhill at some point. Uh, just keep going this way. I don't. We haven't been this way. We could find just about anything. Yeah. Potentially many more nasty enemies. Oh! Enemy base! Spotted! 4.84 k's out. Oh. That's not good. Uh, Still don't see any ice. No. Nor do I. Um, just head right along the top, I guess. Let's see if we can find a way down. Oh! Oops. Oh! You killed that poor tree. Uh, I think we might have gone the wrong way. Yeah, keep hanging to the right. Yeah, the the the, the canyon goes all the way around us. Yeah, it does sort of look like that. <laughs> oh, uh, how's the ride when you're uh, when we're in motion and you're trying to walk around? Yeah, that's not too bad. Except for when you hit a tree, it's like being on a pleasant cruise. <laughs> I think I'm getting my sea legs. Do you think we'd be able to make it down using this little ravine here? It's in front of us. Maybe. Should we give it a go? Let me get to my observation post. Yeah, worth a shot. Oh, that's a bit of a hillock. Oh dear. Oh no! Well, that was lucky. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad we had your truck bolted down. Uh, where did you put the liquor cabinet in this thing? 
<laughs> that was unexpected. I think we might need a gyroscope on this so I can correct if those things happen. Who am I kidding? When those things happen. Oh, lake! Whoa. That is a big lake. It looks awesome. See if you can find a boat. <laughs> oh man, it looks beautiful. It does look delicious. Oh, there's the enemy base. Oh, incoming fleeting rival. Oh no. Uh, turret control. Just don't shoot any of our own stuff. Um, I'll try not to. The fleeting rival does not seem to be approaching us. Okay, let's let's just head down this way then. Keep some distance from it. Collect some ice and use the flat surface to give us an opportunity to lay out our new trailer. What? You're gonna make an amphibious trailer? It's ice, it's not water. Well, it looks like water to me. I know, it does look like it. It's very much ice. That is most disconcerting. We... Oh, did you want to go down? Uh, sure. That's probably a good idea. Oh, it's even reflective. That is really, really off-putting. <laughs> Isn't it? So we're going to need to move the bathroom. Right. Which means we need somewhere else to put the bathroom. Because we probably shouldn't be without a bathroom. I kind of want to go with all of these builds being... The building being roleplay, but the way we're playing, not so much. Oh man, this is so, so disturbing with the reflections getting refreshed on the ice. Yeah, it's a bit disconcerting. Uh... You want someone to be able to look up into the cubicle? Oh, what did you do? <laughs> this is fine. It is I, not I fine. I see no problems here. It is not fine. Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix All it. Alright. <laughs> that is not fine. We're in the future. We've got anti-gravity technology. It's not going to be a problem. Uh, also, make sure you get your colours right. Jeez. Okay, what if I put the sink here instead? Does it? So if I go with that, and then I go to advanced mm. rotor. Oh wait, that's not centered. Oh man, that could have been a disaster. What? Centered? Yeah, the the actual like vanilla centered? No. I was about to put down our rotor for our trailer off centered from the truck. One, two, three, four, ah, five. Yeah, that, six, that would be awkward. Seven, uh oh. One, two, three, four, six, seven. No! No no. What? No no. We're going to have to move the wheels out. A block. Huh? We don't have an oddly width truck. An odd width truck. It's even. Therefore, the rotor cannot be centered unless I use a piston. What have done that for? Well, I didn't think it through, clearly. This, uh, this is going to be the whole Which side thing. do you think we should expand on? Left or right? Uh, let me have a look. If we expand out the right, we could um, potentially gain a little bit of extra floor space inside. Well, I mean, either way we could do that. Um, I think the right probably makes the most sense. What? No, I... No, it'd be easier to do the left. It'd be easy. Well, it's about as difficult either way. Because we have to lift this whole thing up on pistons anyway. Uh, oh, man. Because we got to get it up on chocks, which means we're stuck here. Forever. Well, no, not forever. This is going to take ages. No, it won't. I'm not going to work on building the... Uh, Maybe don't work on the remodeling just yet then. Maybe help me. But I just painted the bathroom. <laughs> okay, fine. Do whatever you want. I am very helpful. 
I wasn't suggesting you weren't. I was just suggesting you could, like, directly help me with what I'm doing here. I'm trying to find... Okay, let's extend this piston out. Why are the catwalks all a weird color? Uh, because I added a catwalk mod that gives you a bunch of different catwalk options. Right. Right, that should be enough clearance to add the wheels back on. Let's do this side. Go back. It, you fix this wheel at the back? Yep. But that doesn't make sense. How doesn't it? One, t one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, it does. I miscounted. Ah, okay. <laughs> I was freaking out that I'd done all this for nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that I, I thought I might like bring out the the armor. Yeah. Well, I think I think it might be good to bring out the whole refinery too, because then we can get uh, upgrade modules on the whole thing. I don't know about that. That's your department. Okay. Um. I think we will. Wait. Do you want to? Hmm. Do you want to expand the hull so it's kind of hanging over the suspension? Yeah, we can do that. So you can gain two extra blocks if you want. So, like... Like this. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Like that. Yeah, we can do that. Go down the length of it like that. Given the extra width. Ah! Oops. What'd you do that for? I hit the wrong button. You need to be careful, because... <laughs> That one could end in complete disaster if you ground up the wrong bit. Believe me, I've done it. Oh, I've got an unknown signal four kilometers away. You gonna head out and get it? Uh, actually, it looks like it's on the other side of the lake, so yeah, I might go check it out. I'm going to continue on the upgrades. What I'm thinking I'll do at the front is actually add another extra bit of windows because looking at the way it's arranged, I think it'll look still not quite the aesthetics I was thinking of when I designed this, but I feel like if I put a window in here, it'll look more balanced than if I move that row out. So I feel like that'll make it too wide, too fat. Aha. Uh -huh. What's aha? I got some carpet boots. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> it's the same. It's almost exactly the same alarm as the under attack alarm from Total Annihilation. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> You're the one who programmed it. I know. I know. I'm not blaming you. It was funny. Okay, need to get rid of those upgrade modules before I drop them inside the ship. What the? Uh, uh oh. Huh? Turret's loose. What do you mean loose? Whoa! What? Can you grab some of the ammo out as well, please? It's, it's floating away. Okay. Oh yeah, we could get, definitely should put the di cap back. Okay. Oh. Three uh, yield and a speed. What? Mm. I'll break this block. It's going to take the Pac-Man machine with it. What? Wait, space invaders. Oh, we'll have to move that then. All right, cap back. We are out of iron. We what? need to go find some. Iron? Yep. Should I go scout for some? Um, yeah, I suppose we could go scout in the bulldozer rather than moving this big rig, big rig around in the middle of the night. Whoa, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. What? You're driving away with all the uranium and your inventory in the thing is still full. What? There's still a lot just... It? Yeah, we didn't... We never emptied it. Whose idea was that? Hopefully there's enough parts in this that I can, uh, possibly put together a connection. All right, I think that's everything. Are you going to go get some iron? Yeah. All right. I'll keep work here. Yeah, there, there. I'll stay here and keep working on the base. And see if I can get a hookup 
set up for you to be able to just hook the little... What are you even calling that little vehicle? I just keep calling it the bulldozer because it used to have a bulldozing thing on the front. Yeah, it still is a bulldozer in spirit. Oh, it's going to be hard to find it. Looks more like a leaf it. cutter ant now, with that what? thing on the front. Ant? <laughs> I mean, compared to the base. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard for me to find any iron in the dark. Yeah, maybe search the lake for it. Because there might be some spots in the lake that have it. I don't know if that's going to be safer or more dangerous. Um, it's kind of hypnotizing. <laughs> It's very reflective. I did find some silicon when I went to grab that thing before. I like your uh, bathroom position. Magnesium. Silicon. Oh, iron. Especially the fact that you put the toilets the correct way up this time. Well, some people are just really picky about that kind of thing. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, oh, heck it. Let's do it. I've never done this before, so I want to really, tr really want to try it. What we're gonna do? Take this block out. Make sure I'm not gonna grind away those supports I just put in. Then collector. For something different. Iron fall, iron walk. Yep. What? What's what? Iron walk is the one that you can walk to, and iron fall is the one that you'll fall in if you go to it. Uh huh. What I'm thinking is, with these pipes, I can't really get around this diagonal bend. So maybe I should put a conveyor junction in somewhere here. Like on this for this block. I suppose we could extend the extend the back out one more block. Maybe that's better. Drop a conveyor junction in here. Extend the back out one further, and have a nice little connection on here. This is also the Capax mining run he'll be able to just connect up the bulldozer and it'll empty straight into our refinery and arc furnaces that will make things slightly less obnoxious it would make things much better i mean it's going to be slow doing the transfer but it won't be something we have to manually do it can be automated and I could probably manage to set up a system where instead of having to do this with a collector, we could just do it with a connector directly, but I kind of want to just do it with the con collector for the fun of it. And then this front edge of the lift, I'm going to make into 2x1x1 two by one by one tips. Because I think that might make it a little bit easier for Capac to get his truck back up on here. Oh, every time I grind a little bit of one of these things off, it makes a thud against the ground. Disconcerting, to say the least. Uh, you're going to be back with your truck soon? I could be. I made a small error. Oh, goody. I forgot how high up I needed to keep this thing. For you to connect up to your truck. Right. Well, I got <laughs> some iron. Um... I don't know where you are, though. Oh, no! Oh. Why? We lost a weapon rack. What? Yep. What did you do? No, the lift just clanged out when I was building with it on the ground. You know this thing is, is canted wildly to one side, right? No. Oh, it is too. Well, that might explain some things. Yeah, the new wheels are like halfway up the thing. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd set their strengths. 
so it seemed like the height offset, if I reset it, fixed the issue with our wheels. I don't know why I had to fiddle with that, but now we have wheels that are level, which means now when I drop this down, we should be flat on the ground rather than destroying the grrr, things. That's not down. Uh, there's still a fair amount of space. Whoa! <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> I didn't realize you were still on it. What are you shooting at? What? I'm not shooting. Oh no! What just happened? I've got an unknown signal and the gun blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Probably should be set to, uh not target neutrals, but I think it might still be set to that, to target neutrals. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, it was close. It got shot. It's very inconvenient. One there. One there. And then, sorta, sorta, sorta. Ejector, ejector, ejector. Have you blocked me out of your truck or something? No. Hmm. I am unable to get the control panel up. Actually, I'm unable to access anything on anything. Can you access cargo? Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to log off and come back on. There we go. The bathroom is completed. Cool. You gonna rearrange anything else down here, you think? Because mm. we've got this weird open space here now. Yeah, we might be able to do something with it. You might be able to remove the uh, cryo tubes. Because instead of this plate... Capac? Come down here. Instead of this plate here, you could put a conveyor junction there. Another conveyor junction here. And put the two cryo tubes where I'm standing now and then here. But then we won't have stairs. Well, you can move the stairs because those that door doesn't need to be there. So the stairs can move one block further toward the rear of the vehicle. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did that to yourself. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't realize that was a load bearing door. Okay, both those turrets are new, which means both of them are going to have reduced range on them. Aiming radius, 800. Target neutrals, off. Now your next thing that drops down shouldn't get destroyed. Perfect. Oh, I put these around the wrong way. Typical. Yeah, in some ways it is. I often do misplace the Gatling turrets. They're slightly asymmetrical. So it's very easy to place them the wrong way around. Now let's turn you to... Ow! What did ah. you do? What did you do? Catwalk just fell on my face. <laughs> Why did you drop a catwalk on your own face? I didn't know it was up there. Uh, okay. I ground the block that was it was on top of. Ooh. What's? Ooh. I had an idea. What's your idea? It's the best idea. What is it? Um, you will see. Well, I was going to offer to help. Uh, but it's not... It's not... Difficult. Where's the right one? Um, I have a good idea too. If we put our assembler in here, we can put some upgrade modules on it. Uh, I'm still not getting any hydrogen through the med station. Wait a second. It's not connected. Why isn't it connect? How isn't it connected? Small cargo container. Ruined everything. It wouldn't let me put the bottle through to it. Which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Maybe the O2 generator's around the wrong way or something. 
What? Are you destroying all my decors? No, I'm realizing that the assembler was misaligned, so it was never actually piped to the O2 generator at all. Well, of course it wasn't. So, what I'm going to do is totally rearrange this stuff. I might be able to put the O2 generator where the assembler was. Move the assembler into this main area, which will allow me to put a speed module on it. At least one, which would be nice. And then hopefully, the med bay will provide you with hydrogen. Wow, this... This generated a lot more space than I thought it was going to. This change that we had to do so that we could actually put a trailer hitch on. Which is what inspired this whole ridiculous remodel. Hey, what's all this stuff on the floor? What stuff? Just leave junk lying around. That was you. I didn't leave any junk lying around. How rude. I never. <laughs> what do you mean, you never? <laughs> I would never do such a thing. I'm not so uncouth. <laughs> that is so untrue. You are by far the messiest of the two of us. Mm. This is a bit weird. What? Sitting at the back, seeing the back of the couch? I'm no, just having this weird sort of no man's land. It needs like a potted plant or something. Uh, we might be able to do that. But I just uh, thought I'd pop it all, I'd close us all in for the time being. And then we can work on that. We. Oh, you won't. Why did you put the stairs all the way over this side? Because that's the best way to do it. How? Because then you get to walk past the windows with the fine view. But there's not going to be windows there. There's going to be a rotor that's going to be our trailer hitch. What? Yeah. <laughs> that's why we did this thing. That's why we're doing this remodel. That was the whole reason. Well, you've ruined everything. <laughs> Christmas is cancelled. <laughs> that, was, that was like... The only reason we did this huge remodel on the second episode of the series was because we had to. So that we could get the trailer built. Because we can't do any building of a trailer if we have an evenly spaced base. Because mm. I can't put a hitch centered on the truck. <laughs> oh, okay, back. I was wondering why you were building bulletproof glass. Oh, you are going to need to move the stairs as well. What? Yeah. Because this has to go here. What the... Well, if you're going to put that there, at least put it the right way up. Um, sure. You go put it the right way up. I don't... I can't. I don't have room. <laughs> Alright, I'll fix it in a second. I have an idea. I was thinking that if I were to have... Where is it? Where are my hotbars? If I were to have the rotor down there and then have our sideways one like this that we need for pitching back and forth, I'm going to end up way off-centered with my twisting point. Whereas if I make these advanced rotors out of small grid... Since they all only need to be free moving anyway, I should take up a much smaller volume and hopefully keep much closer to the center. It's not an issue on the goose because the goose is done with entirely small grid. So the distance from center is very small. So now we can go with that like that. This is going to be further off the ground. It's not going to limit us in what we can pipe through here. So one of the problems I've got here is I need to convert back to a large grid. And the way I think I will do that is by grabbing, putting a few blocks here in the ground. And then if we put a large grid advanced rotor part there, and then we put a an advanced rotor on here and grind away the part, we should 
be able to attach to this rotor part, which will then give us large grid to build from. Should also give us all of the degrees of rotation that we need. You know that by building these gun turrets like directly on the refineries and things, it means all this stuff is exposed. We can't yeah, I was thinking we might want to put conveyor blocks on them and raise them up a block. And then we can do some styling around them. But I was putting them there for the moment because we needed, we potentially needed defense. Yes. What I would like you to do... Is make some more defense. No, is to pop down the back and put some light on a, on the rotor part that I'm going to try and hook up to. Uh, actually, can you... What is thing going I, on out here? Do I trust you to drive? Yeah, of course. I'm a good driver radar. You're going to have to be very, very careful because you could end up um, breaking the whole ship. Me? Yeah. It looks like you've broken it already. What is this thing floating here? So I'm trying to get this at the right height, but I think it's going to be too far off to be able to lock to it. Uh, you're getting close. You still need to go. You still need to get a bit further to your right. It looks. Like nope, stop. Clipping through it on mine. You you are, but you need to clip through it more. What? Sorry, I probably should have pointed that out to you. You probably didn't realize what I was telling you. This advanced rotor needs to get right up against the part. Now it makes sense why you were making such small adjustments. My bad. Uh, it looks pretty close. But maybe it's a little too far down. Yeah, maybe a little too far. Uh, can you increase... So can you go into the menu? Uh, go to CJ Wheels. Maybe put suspension strength... If you control click on the suspension strength slider. Maybe put it at 8%. Uh, maybe a bit higher. Oh, it's not adjusting. Yeah, it's not moving. It's barely moving. How much did you increase it? To ten percent. Maybe go. Maybe try fifteen. See if it goes up much. Yeah. That's not what I meant to do. Well, it didn't move at all when you did that. Yeah. So set it to set it to ten because I think you might have been right with ten. Control click and it's much easier than. And then adjust the offset, because that was what seemed to reset the wheels when we had the troubles earlier. Oh, you're just sitting here having a snack, are you? While well, everybody else is working. Typical. Okay, it adjusted for me and not for you. Of course it did. And every time you walk in front, I can't see anything. In front of what? Ow! What just happened? I just smashed into a conveyor, apparently. <laughs> so, last episode, someone said you were going to be like Kenny. <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> I think you just proved them right. No one's right. Oh, how's he gonna die next episode? Nobody saw anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. The orange suit and everything. Alright, prepare for explosions. Hooray! In three, two, one, attach. Oh. We are somewhat canted right now. Yes! It looks weird, but it works. Is That's that really be... in the middle? Yeah, it is. Mm. Fly back to here and you'll believe me. Ah. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need more construction components. Have you got any being manufactured? The computer's not making any. Why not? Do I think we're out of iron ingots? Ah, oh, do we need to go mining together? Are you sure you got all the iron out of my truck? Yep. 
Well, I guess we need to go mining then. Uh, let me just dump my stuff oh. I'm carrying. Got another unknown signal coming in. Uh oh. Go! Turn off the guns! Turn off the guns! They shouldn't target it. Well, they shouldn't have targeted it last time, but that didn't stop them. Yeah, that's because I'd rebuilt one of them. Jeez, we're coming down real close. Are you on the lift? I'm going to get my unknown signal. Yeah. Oh. It's like a hundred meters away. Ah, get back here. Hey, I stopped it for you. Hey, quit running over my... ...thing. Hey! <laughs> stop that! How rude. That is not helpful. <laughs> I was being helpful and then you got angry at me for something that I didn't do. Yeah, you keep running over my little spaceship friend. Hey, that's my seat. Uh. <sighs> Alright, back to the mines. Oh, why does it make me so nervous when you go this fast? Don't. It's pretty smooth. There's not much to run into out here. Yeah, except for the ice. The ice is rock hard. Oh, it looks nice and soft to me. Watch the hole! Yeah. <laughs> that looked ridiculous. I think you're a bit rear heavy. It's possible. Too much junk in the trunk, hey, Capac? Something like that. <laughs> you may want to fill up that front container. Don't drill my truck. That's how I put everything in. It doesn't drill your truck, don't worry. If I alt-right click with the drill in hand, I'd drop off all the ore without having to do anything more. Yeah, likely story. If I see any scratches on the finish... You'll what? You'll be finished! Poaching all my irons! <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you to get upset with that. Can't steal another man's diggings. It actually works better because otherwise the server occasionally cleans them all up and they disappear. So it's less wasteful. It's not less wasteful when I'm trying to find the final bit of iron and you've stolen them all. <laughs> Alright, I think that'll do. Alright. Oh, it looks seriously cool um, when the truck's yellow and purple got reflected down in the tunnel. You're locked. Locked on. Alright. Up we go. And eject and we start. What would you like to have first in terms of trailer? Come back. Um... So we're going to use it as a missile launch platform, right? Yeah, because we want to try and take out some of those transport ships that keep flying over. So I guess we want to, to start with, we want to focus on making sure we've got the fuel for the rockets and the launch pad. Yeah, I suppose we could also use, if it's going to be the launch pad for missiles, we could also use it for the launch pad as the launch pad for rockets, as in rockets that are going to take us up to space. Uh, yeah. Yep. That makes sense. So, if we make it sort of our hydrogen storage, so if we have a couple of O2 generators and a couple of hydrogen tanks, then we can generate the fuel and easily and quickly load up space-worthy vehicles. Stuff that we can take up there and then run away screaming like little children uh, from... Lucas's drones that are up there. One more. Nuts. I'm going to have to do something about that. What the... 
<laughs> Twice in an episode. That one wasn't my fault. <laughs> what happened? I just walked around the gun turret and then suddenly I was on the ground dead. Oh, did the gun turret decide it had enough of you and flicked you off the side? Maybe. But, like, I was on the base level. I wasn't at the turret level. Hurry up and give me my stuff, corpse! <laughs> that looks so funny with you just pushing it along. Alright, I'm borrowing the truck. Okay. I'm gonna go get myself an unknown signal, because... We are low on parts. And they're manufacturing, and I don't want to wait. Plus, I should be able to get something, because I haven't gotten anything in a while. Oh, there's a fleeting rival coming after me. Uh oh. Oh, your turret's off. Come on, I want my goodies. Yeah. Uh. What? Can you see the fleeting rival? I can. I don't know what it's doing. Doesn't appear to be coming closer to me at the moment. What'd I get? Oh, another cowgirl drill. Yay. Kabak, are you making my rounded thing all sharp and angular? What? I'm trying to armor up the sides. You left all this refinery exposed. Whoa, you're coming in pretty fast. Oops. Need to have an extra lift button at the front door position. Possibly. There we go. That's the basic frame in place. And where can we put a programmable block? Are you okay with me using downstairs as a bit of a server area as well? Sure. Alright. Subgrid wheel control script by whip. There we go. Uh, that looks different. Huh? The top looks very different now. Yeah, it looks like bullets won't go through it like paper. Yeah, it's also odd that you've, um, that the, the, you, we're gonna have to totally redesign the front end now with what you've done on there. Well, it's fine. It looks really wonky. The lights don't line up with the turrets. <laughs> it's really upsetting me. Oh, I can fix the lights, don't worry about the lights. All right, let's see if this Wait, thing works. Wait, you positioned the turrets. You had them placed off kilter yeah, but from when the they, lights. Yeah, when they were with all the exposed machinery, it didn't, it didn't stand out so much. Now with the big yellow lines going down, it really does. Do you want to get in? I'm going to start driving. Oh, the whole thing? Yep. All right. I am on board. Ooh. Okay, so all the wheels are turning. I don't want that. <laughs> that is jiggling, a lot, jiggling around an awful lot. Is that happening to you too? Yeah, it looks like it's jiggling a little bit. Um, that fleeting rival might be coming towards us. No, I think we're going toward it. I can see it up in the air. I feel like we did manage to achieve something even though most of it was just a complete redesign of our base because I designed it wrong for building with trailers. Yes. <laughs> but we did set out what we intended to, which is to get the trailer done, or started, and to find the hydrogen. So that gives us a good position to start next time building the launch platform for some missiles. Yeah. So that we can start taking out some of those cargo ships and Boom. building a space-based vehicle. So what I was thinking I would do next time around is get Cap is commission Capac to build the space-based vehicle. And did you just shoot something? I shot a tree. Okay. And I would design the first missile to strike the enemy. How do you feel about designing the space-based vehicle, Capac? You got some ideas? Hmm. So something to get us up to an asteroid to do some mining. Yeah. 
so that we can grab some silver and I think there's something else up there that we would want but I can't remember what's up in space I would have to look it up okay so something yeah. get up there mine some stuff and come back so it'll need the ability to keep us alive up there oh preferably not for long just enough time to carry just to carry a bit of oxygen but also preferably would have some good acceleration because we may need to run away from stuff up there right yeah how do you feel about that sure <laughs> easy sure okay so there's that and plenty more to come and we'll see you then see you everybody